they're doing like a, a, a maze game where you tilt the maze to rotate it and you can the things will be inside that gravity wise to block it so you need a couple of things first of all you need the actor the for the the maze so the maze this and then you need to build the actual maze shape you want out of this so so i think thing was that there's a maze like looks sort of like for this okay so there's two puzzles one is going like tap 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 and you're, you're moving it bit by bit and the other one is you're rotating it to drop it around like with gravity so this mesh here will, will call this one the player cube like this and now if i hit the keys wasd it'll move yeah i'm just tapping wsd now for collision to that moment you see it will go in between them you need to do a thing which will like check to see if the place you're about to go to is empty so to do that before you actually move so on the maze before you add relative rotation uh, location to this you want to uh, do a, a almost like a trace test really so we're gonna do a line trace by channel and I, I also know i need to do collision i turn on sweep here and turn on collision for all these things so this one because it's a maze it's got all these little indentations this has to use complex collision so in the details panel go down change that to use complex collision the other one player cube we just use a box collision but because we've got sweep turned on it should actually stop it okay so now i can't move anywhere so i'm just tapping the key to make it move yeah but with this hopefully this basic stuff you see here you can see how it could work with physics as well you just need to make sure that with the player cube you obviously simulate physics on it but you constrain it so it doesn't cut popping out of the position of the of the box okay for more game dev tips and advice subscribe and follow ryan Lely games